Uh, this is Lou Katsos. I'm the uh, president of EMCA, the East Mediterranean Business Culture Alliance. And I'm also the uh, AHEPA uh, Empire State Governor. AHEPA, of course, is the largest uh, Greek American organization. And tonight we're having a special event on the lifetimes and works of John Cassavetes. Uh, we're doing this in association with the uh, Hellenic uh, Film uh, Society USA, uh, with AHEPA. And also, also we're doing it with the uh, Hellenic American Project at Queens College. It's a terrific event on a, on a great Hellenic American uh, actor, a film producer, director. Uh, we have a fantastic panel that we've assembled. Uh, so in, enjoy the evening uh, and thank you for coming. Hi, I'm John Sales. Uh, we're here to celebrate the life and work of John Cassavetes, who would be 90 this year. And uh, he was a big inspiration for a whole generation of independent filmmakers. I know people who, um, who you know, really uh, are making great movies today because of, because of Eddie's, and I know that they were um, inspired by, by his movies and by his love of life. Um, I kind of was in the next wave um, in the late 70s and early 80s, and uh, I think the existence of his cinema as well as the content is uh, uh, still very important. People are still discovering his movies, which didn't get big distribution in their day. Yes, hello, my name is Foster Hirsch. I'm professor of film at Brooklyn College and the author of a number of books on film history. And I'm here tonight very happily to talk about John Cassavetes and his important contribution to American independent filmmaking. He's really the source. All independent filmmakers since the 50s owe a debt of gratitude to this pioneering filmmaker. And I'm very pleased to be here tonight to talk about his contribution. Nikos Alexiou, the Hellenic American Project, the Queen's College, the Makinology. The Simerini Exilos is in the place of the political exilos that we organize as a university, as the Hellenic American Project, the Archive Museum. Και βέβαια η ΕΜΚΑ, η ΑΧΕΠΑ και το Film Society όλοι μαζί συνδιοργανώνουμε αυτή την εκδήλωση για τον μεγάλο μας Ελληνοαμερικανό σκηνοθέτη, Τζον Κασαβέτη. I'm George Zouvalos. I'm an actor and a filmmaker. I'm here speaking tonight about John Cassavetes, who was a famous screenwriter, actor, and Oscar-nominated filmmaker, director. Uh, John Cassavetes was a member of our chapter, the Ahepa Hermes Chapter 186. I'm the past president. John Cassavetes, who has lived in the story, is a man who has lived in New York, is a man who has had cultural traditions, including the to να κάνει κανεί ταινίε προ να είναι ανεξάρτητε από τη γρεφοκρατία του Χόλιγουτ και αυτό που λέμε σήμερα οι Dependent Films, η αρχή του είναι από τον, από το, από τον Κασταβέντη και νομίζω είναι πάρα πολύ σημαντικό. Η δική μου η ματιά πάνω στο έργο του Κασταβέντη είναι από κοινωνική απόψη και μιλάω για την κοινωνική του φαντασία που είναι πώς παίρνει οι πράγματα της, της καθημερινότητας, ανθρώπους ε, της καθημερινής ζωής και πώς αυτό μεταβάλλεται σε ένα οικουμενικό μήνυμα. Αυτή είναι η μεγάλη αξία της ε, ε, φαντασίας ε, του μεγάλου μας ελληνομερικανού σκηνοθέτη. We celebrate his life and he was and continues to be the inventor, creator of the American independent film where directors like Martin Scorsese look up to and mimic in some of their filming. So tonight I welcome everyone to this event sponsored by EMCA, the Hellenic Cultural Commission, Lou Katsos, our governor for AHEPA. And with us tonight we also have the Hellenic Film Society. Merry Christmas to everyone and enjoy. Again, historically, uh, it's very important for people to understand that also in the 1930s, uh, uh, because of certain things that were taking place in the United States uh, in terms of the Depression and all that, John, uh, John Cassavetes' father took him to Greece. 
Uh, and when they came when they came back, he was nine years old, and he didn't speak a word a word of English. Uh, with that, uh, Council General Constantine Frutas. Congratulations, Lou. Congratulations to Jimmy the Metro and uh, all the people that are working to promote the Greek civilizations and everything related to that. I want to thank Lou for inviting the Hellenic Film Society to participate in this event. Uh, our main uh, goal is to promote Greek cinema in the U.S., but from time to time we like to acknowledge uh, the work of uh, directors of Greek descent who work in other languages and other countries. And of course, when it comes to uh, John Kasavetis as a Greek American, uh, I know I'm very proud of him, and I'm sure that's true of uh, everyone in the room. <laughs> you know, given Kasavetis' his career, but uh, also he has. Uh, uh, He's from Greek America, from Astoria, and and, uh, and he brought this picture tonight with John Cassavetti, which you should take a look at uh, later in the evening to um, to uh, see. I don't know what year that was. I think maybe the 58, 59. Uh, the photo that I brought is taken in 1958 uh, with the initiation of John Cassavetes. He's here on the on my right, holding a can of beer, as he shakes hands with uh, Hermes president, Dev Kip Costas, and his wife, Marge. This is taken in 1958 here at the Ahepa home in Manhattan. What's key about this photo and this moment in time, when he was gathering funds for shadows, he, as a young 29-year-old, was seeking funding for his passion project, and in 57, when he had his early showings, uh, in 58, here in Manhattan, the, um, the theater for 600 people only held, to his surprise, 100 people showed up. Uh, the sound was off. He was not happy with it. He knew a lot of people walked out. Some people didn't like it. And John Cassavetes had come to show one of his movies at their university. And they'd come and say, well, I'm the head of the Film Society. I really like your movie, Mr. Cassavetes. And he would say, good, you're the Northwestern distributor for me. <laughs> uh, and he would give them a print or two prints. And they would, and he might say, you know, if you make any money, you're probably going to need it yourself. Um, make sure people see this. He wasn't neurotic. He had pathos. He was passionate. He looked at you in the eyes and analyzed you and wanted you as an actor to, to dig deep in that role. And some of the best actors out there, are, you know, they fit that category very well. They act as themselves and they get into any, any character role. No, stop. We are terrible. He wanted you all bound. He didn't want you on two feet knowing what you were doing. But they were very well uh, written. Uh, also, his uh, wife uh, uh, mentioned that many times in, in her interviews, and also a book, uh, Casavetes on Casavetes, he also talks about uh, that, that uh, a lot of hours uh, uh, writing, but he had the ability uh, to bring out uh, 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 more elements, more, more, uh, uh, more, more themes, more qualities from, from, from the actors. That's why we think that they, they are not um, script. I, I actually go back further than you. If you started seeing Cassavetes in the 60s, I'm old enough to have seen Shadows when it first opened in 1959. And he must have had a great sense of PR because that film got a lot of attention. It's one of a kind. He also invented crowdfunding. Uh, one of the ways he made it was he got on an all-night radio show and said, while we're making this movie, anybody who has any money to give us or wants to come and help, here's what we're going to do tomorrow. And in New York, he did that. Throughout. That took a long time to make the film. But when it opened, it opened at theaters that normally showed foreign films. And so it got art house distribution, which was unprecedented at the time for an American film. It played at, at I saw it at, at an art house on Western uh, Avenue in Los Angeles. You felt like you were going to see an Ingmar Bergman film, but it was an American film. The pacing of the film, the, the way he shot it, the way he edited it, the kind of acting you saw, there had been nothing like it before. And then 
So what they need is a philosophy. What I think what everybody needs is a, is a way to say, where and how can I love? Can I be in love so that I can live? So that I can live with some degree of peace. And so that's why I have a need to, uh, for the characters to really analyze love, discuss it, kill it, uh, destroy it, hurt each other, do all that stuff in, in, that, in that war, in that word blemish and picture blemish of, uh, of what life is. And the rest of the stuff really doesn't interest me, you know. It may interest other people, but I, you know, I have one track mind. That's all I'm interested in is love. Yeah. Basically, his movies are primarily character-driven. It's the character that drives the story, whereas most movies are the story. It sort of in, in, enables the characters, and and he saw, you know, movies as as um, a business, and people were in show business were in business to make a profit, which was not his concern. His movie making was about expressing himself. It, it wasn't just, I'm going to reveal who these people are, it's going to be, I'm going to dig deep, and I'm going to show you our marriage, I'm going to show you our relationship, I'm going to show you our guts. Sometimes you feel that he invited a bunch of actors to go Got halfway through the second bottle of wine and said action, and there was the camera, and they said, oh, what the fuck, and they just kept going. And um, whether you like it or not, um, we're going to lay it all out there. And, and so the making of these movies was not simple. Uh, it was low budget, but it was not simple. Thank you very much for being here. I thank Lou for his inspiration in, uh, in uh, getting this uh, event uh, on the ground, and I hope uh, you enjoy uh, both the panel tonight and the film on Sunday. George Stephanopoulos uh, was a moderator of tonight's uh, Casavetti's uh, panel discussion with uh, John Sells, Foster Hirsch, George Zubilis, and Professor uh, Nicholas Alexiou. And so uh, we had a good turnout. It was a great event and some scenes from his movies, which I think uh, was great to be able to hear him in his own words. And uh, I, en I enjoyed it and uh, I've become a fan. For sure. Επισκεφτείτε την ιστοσελίδα μας mgtvusa.com. Καλύπτουμε καθημερινά τα γεγονότα στην Ομογένεια.